Don, you already began filming. Good morning, this is a day in the life of Witch School. I'm Ed Hubbard, uh, CEO of Witch School. I get to be the guy who tries to put it on. Witch School has been part of my dream since I began 15 years ago as, as a pagan to bring a universal pagan education to the forefront. Uh, I wanted to make sure anyone who wanted to get a pagan education could. Um, the Witch School has been my dream. We now live in a big 13,000 square foot warehouse. I actually live in Witch School. My room is hidden behind the Magic TV wall. This is our Magic TV studio. And that I basically get started. Let's, let's go ahead and let me show you the rest of this place. This is part of our wall of articles that we've collected. I think between two and three hundred articles over the last 15 years we've generated. Yes. Only a very few of them are actually on the wall. Hi, this is Kathy. She recently joined us. Uh, she is in charge of our mini spells. Yes, there you go. Um, lovely mini spells. She does our, a lot of our morning crew of mini spells. And also right now she's working on sending out samples to everybody. And Kathy is a lifelong Hobson resident. What brought you here to Witch School? Um, the job. The job. <laughs> yeah. It is kind of an unusual job. It's, spell di it's different. Not many people can claim to be spell makers. <laughs> So when you get your mini spells, you know that they've probably been touched by Kathy here amongst the energy. And there, here we go. This is our friend Mark. He works for us as well. He's recently joined us. He's our handyman book cutter. You know, all the books that you see cut. In the last couple of weeks, he's been cutting them. And are you, you're a lifelong resident here too? Yeah. See, we have a lot of hoops and people here. And oh, you're not Wiccan though, are you? No. Now see, we are non-discriminatory. Tara's our Girl Friday here, who helps out Virginia and Marianne. And she does a lot of the other things around the office. Uh, right now she's, like I said, preparing our big send out of, of things. Will do, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. And this is Virginia, who you can see, busy answering phones. She's our shipping manager and uh, another one of the uh, of the uh, people who bring you things, but she's very important that she does a lot of, like I said, ministry questions. Hi, Virginia. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, on a daily basis, you deal with students, their shipping issues, their supply issues. Um, you make a lot of the stoles that I people. Make the stoles. And then she does that on her her conspicuous free times, which has hardly any. <laughs> and you're also the pastor of Slew Temple here. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about anything you'd like? about being here at Witch School? Well, I, I enjoy it a lot because I've always been into witchcraft and everything since I was a young kid. So, you know, it was great when you guys came here, so. And yeah, and, well, you were one of those residents that stood by us and started letting us know right. that we, everything wasn't what we thought it was. Right. Contacted you and told me, please come back. <laughs> and that's been almost, like I said, almost three years. Right. This is Marianne. She is probably one of the most important people in our office because she's at Central Everything. Stay in that because I'm standing right here. That's right. Um, she is our general manager. A lot of people uh, know Marianne because they're the first person she contacts. She's really kind of on the front line, answering emails, passwords. If you get if you got a nickel for every password you were asked for, you'd be you'd have a vacation. Charging board. That's fine. And she hasn't taken a vacation since she's worked with me. Almost. Almost, yeah. Marilyn was the first person we brought on. She had been born and raised here and then gone for 30 years. In California. She also belongs to a local church here. I'm not a witch. Not a witch. That's it. That's my motto. Mm -hmm. But she's an excellent office manager and she's, you know, and she does a lot of things. And we ship out a lot of packages. How many packages do you think we ship out? By a week of 200, 250? Oh, easy. Easy? Okay. Yep, there we go. And so this is kind of our center. And as you can see, we're pretty cramped in here. We could use more space. space. We need space. This is Don. Or how would we phrase it? The most proper right reverend. How do you put your whole title, Don? Uh, the most reverend, Donald Lewis High Corral. Okay. Everybody knows him as Don. Yeah. Uh, very direct, but actually he is... No, I, I only sign with the titles for very formal... Uh, documents or announcements. Overall, Don is the backbone of a lot of what we do at Witch School. He is the central core of the teachings. Uh, he took his, instead of taking the usual route of authors and writers, 
of going to Llewellyn or one of the book companies to get published, he and I decided to take his materials directly to the public so that we can expand on our public pagan tradition. Well, we, have, we have always felt that spiritual information is to be shared, that it really is for the enrichment of, um, of everyone, and that if you have spiritual knowledge and you hide it, you're doing something wrong. Uh, you should try to use it to help people. And so from the start, we've had a commitment to making the information as available as possible. Mm -hmm. and that really makes us very different than, uh, than many Wiccan traditions and many Wiccan schools, who are very concerned with keeping it select and exclusive, which is not, not, a, um, not a form we believe in. So, yeah, we've been dedicated right since... Probably you've been dedicated all your life, and we've mm -hmm. been working together since 1990. Yes. And at this point, where would you say which school is where in your total plan of what you want for this for your life? I guess it's a strange question. What I mean is that which school we've gotten out to be 150,000 students, mm -hmm. thousands of people all over the world work with you. Yeah, it's true. Uh, um, we've we've attracted wonderful people, and that sort of thing. So where do you think uh, you know compared to where you'd like to be, where you're at? Well, we're like in a small, we're in a warehouse mm -hmm. that we're still well, I, I would very much like us to um, certainly become more stable in, in all ways, particularly in terms of um, our building and our ability to host events and to host people. I would like to see us have imp improved facilities for that. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to see our libraries grow. Not only our library here, but, but all the libraries that um, our various people have. Uh, as a resource for the community, not just as personal libraries. And really, I would say that, that for me, that issue of being a resource for the community is still the dominant issue, and the thing that I would want to see us grow more with. We'll do more with that in a little bit, but off we go. So yeah, she brought a whole pile of new ones. It's one of our favorite things to do around here is when <clears throat> Rihanna brings in her wands. Oh, it's party. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Blue lace. Nice mm -hmm. crystal. Yeah, we're almost out. That's pretty. What's that? Blue lace. Blue lace? Okay. Good. I've got one bag left. i got a few others to tell you. Okay, we'll just give him a lesson. Those two other things. <laughs> Lovely wands. This is Rihanna, our wand maker. She comes in once a week about. Really that quick. She's going to show us a little bit of the wands she's brought with for us today. She actually makes exceptionally good wands. Oh, thank you. Uh, people love them. People buy them. They don't pay enough for them, but... <laughs> but you've gotten about 40 wands sold. This is a talking stick she's made. Pearl and magnetic hematite. Yes. And citrine. And citrine. Mm-hmm. And, of course, quartz crystal. Double terminated. And uh, basically, she started uh, doing wands about what did you say? About a year ago? Was it a little more than about a year? Two years. Two years ago. Right. Yeah, because I was making them, doing crafty things all the while. Mm -hmm. So. And then you start bringing them here, and asked us to sell them, and now we're starting to develop into a little product line. This one's really cool. What's on that one? Uh, this is rose quartz with tiger eye eyes, mm -hmm. and just some fabric. Is that fabric? And moonstone. And moonstone. We were wondering if this is like some kind of yarn or something. Yeah, it's a, it's a yarn that I just twirled around. Very oh, good. Yeah. It's got an unusual feel to it. She does each yeah. one of these by hand. When did you get involved with the uh, Wicca? I started uh, practicing Wicca when I ran across Crystal at Awakens, and uh, that's where my journey began. And now, you, now you're becoming a wand supplier? Now to... I make wands. And staffs. And staffs and talking sticks. Um, what would you say has changed your life most? I mean, being involved with Witch School at all. Has it changed your life at all? Or is it oh, just... drastically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> drastically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what would you say is probably the biggest changes? I am calmer. I am more relaxed. I'm more in tune with my body, with uh, the fact that I'm a part of the universe. Um, it just felt like I was came home.